In the future, this member member places the death penalty. He used his experience to teach children the importance of obeying the law. But the man did not repent. He accuses as he displays his severed arm. Apparently, he doesn't regret his crime. In a country's prisons, the most severe form of capital punishment has been abolished. Instead, dismemberment surgery is practiced. Each operation removes a part of the prisoner's body. The location and amount of dismemberment is up to the victim family. Until they were satisfied, the operation would not be stopped. Willie raped, murdered and dismembered a girl. He was sentenced to death, but he was just in time for the penal code to be enacted. He was about to be the first person to experience the punishment of dismemberment. After learning the rules, he cried out in pain on the verge of an internal breakdown. He roared out his emotions. He'd rather be sentenced to death than be embarrassed like this. But he couldn't decide that. A few days later, Willie was wheeled into surgery. The victim's father watched from outside the operating room with his two daughters. His eyes were filled with vengeance. He picked up the phone and ordered the surgeon to operate. The scalpel landed precisely on his left arm. The surgeon starts the operation and his left hand is removed from his body. The scene is to gory. The little girl feels sick after watching it. After the operation, Willie was taken to various schools with Miss and Lim for warning education. He used his experience to convey the importance of obeying the law. But Willie did not repent. He cursed angrily as he showed off his broken arm. Apparently, he had regret his crime. No sooner had he recovered from his wounds than his second surgery began. This time, the victim's family offered to remove his right hand and left leg. Willie was now down to his right leg, but as the operation began, one of the daughters fell sick and she left. After the operation, Willie, weakened, continued to come to school to give warnings. Now he's no longer arrogant, but timid and self-conscious. He patiently taught everyone not to break the law or they'd become like him. But the bad students don't care. They fake to make cuts of their arms and con him. Willie can only bow his head in silence. He can't say a word now. Soon the third operation came. The rapist on death row sits in the bathtub with his limbs cut off. Because dismemberment is a substitute for the death penalty. But when the third operation came, there was fear in his eyes. The state was very happy with the dismemberment penalty. They don't think he'll be operated on again. People are happy about the result. This punishment should be vigorously promoted. What they didn't realize was that this was just the beginning for the victim's father. He demanded again that Willie's last right leg be cut off, leaving him completely limbless. After the surgery, Willie couldn't take care of himself. He was completely dependent on others. When he took a shower, he just Saturday there. His mind was on the verge of collapse. Unexpectedly, a fourth surgery followed. The hatred of the victim's father won't go away so easily. Even if he couldn't let him die, he wanted to make the murderer's life miserable. Before the operation, even the doctors were hesitated, but they had to do their job. Willie had a kidney and half a lung removed from his body. This left his entire body disabled. His future was hopeless. He had to be kept alive by daily injections of nutritional fluids. He lived his life in preparation for the next unexpected operation. Desperate, Willie asked the nurse to show him the video of his operation as a tribute to his lost organs. He sometimes loses his mind and can't remember exactly which leg he lost in surgery. Now he can only smile wryly. He was about to have his genital removed by the doctor. He begged the doctors and asked them to execute him. But the doctors have no choice but to comfort him. They have to follow the rules and regulations. After the operation, Willie woke up. Now he has no senses and can't shed a tear. He doesn't want to talk to anyone. He doesn't trust anyone. But even then, the victim's father wasn't ready to let him go. He scheduled a sixth operation to remove his ears, nose and tongue. He also used a laser to remove all his hair. Except for his eyes, Willie has no other organs. He's like a breathing corpse right now. When the victim's father saw that he couldn't go any further, he finally signed an agreement to terminate the operation. He didn't want to see Willie again and left the operating room in a hurry. All he cared about was not being able to avenge his daughter's death by killing this cum himself. Willie had to go on with his duties. He traveled to different schools, using his broken body to teach immature children a lesson. Five years passed, and Willie was still alive. The light in his room was always on. No one knows what he thinks about when he lies in bed, whether he repented of the crimes he had committed and remembered the victim he had killed. We don't know. No matter how pathetic a criminal is, he deserves no sympathy. It's what he deserves, and no one can forgive the victim. Do you support this law?